Hi, this is going to be a full tutorial on how to install ASD, Apple System Diagnostics. If you have problem with your MacBook and you don't know what's wrong with it and you want to figure out what's wrong with it, then you want to use this particular application. First of all, Google ASD Apple System Diagnostics in Google. You want to make sure that it's on the www.rosemangroup.com. First answer could be support.apple.com. That's not going to help you any, uh, uh, very much. So in, in this in this website's forum, scroll down to the bottom and then you will see this long text. Here you want to find your laptop's model. In my case is 2012 MacBook 12 uh, 13 inch, which I found that's Retina. Uh I that's iMac. MacBook Pro 13 inch mid 2012 non-retina. Uh what this will tell you is what you need to get, uh, which version of ASD you will need to get. So here, ASD Diagnostics 3S150. That's the version of ASD I need to get. And if you look at the back of files, there are four files, uh, which means you will need to download four of these files on your laptop. If you scroll down to the bottom and then click on the next page, on the very top there will be a torrent file. ASC something something torrent. Uh, this will open the Google Drive and you'll be able to download a torrent file. The torrent file is about 50 gigabytes. So do you know what you are going to download and only download what you need to? If you are a generous person and would like to contribute to this community, please take download the entire file and then see it. Alright, now once you have that four files, you are going to just double click on the first one. Once it's mounted, you will see six files, one saying ASD EFI, the other one saying ASD.OS, and four files of README. Uh, this can be different by what uh, version you have, but this is what ha what's happening with me. Now, when you have this open, click on the um, EFI and OS to mount them. Once you have them mounted, go click the launch pad, go to Disk Utility. As you can see, I have a 16 gigabyte SanDisk um, USB thumb drive. You want to make a partition in this into two partitions. Give the first partition about one gigabyte, and give the second partition the rest. Uh, name the first partition EFI or something like that, and the sec second one as uh, OS or some something like that. Click apply and wait for the partition. Alright, once you have that, uh, first go to EFI, click Restore. For your source, you want to use, you want to find the ASD EFI 3, 3S 150DMG's, uh, that particular image. Drag it to the source and then drag the EFI to the destination. Click Restore, click Erase, and then enter your password to install. Congratulations, you have um, installed the EFI. Now, click the OS, do the same thing, but with ASD OS 3S 150DMG. Click Restore, Erase, enter the password, and then click OK. Alright, when you have that done, Close everything and you can go ahead and shut up your computer. We are going to restart into the USB. Alrighty, once you have that, you want to press down on the options and then turn on the MacBook. You can see ASD OS and ASD EFI. Uh, you can use either one, but I'm going to use the OS this time. Once you start up, you are going to see diagnostic start automatically. Congratulations, you have successfully got Apple System Diagnostics. Enjoy.